Hi, and welcome back again. You know who I am. This is J.R. Floyd. We're going to have a great conversation today. As you can see, I have a guest here, and I'm very excited about this guest today. This is a real sister. This is like do or die sister in the gospel. This is Miss Thais uh, Bob, better known as Chaplain Bob. She wears many hats. And I'm very, very much so admire this sister because just recently, Recently, I think it's been about five, six years you've been married? Six, seven. Six, six seven, yeah. Uh -huh. Six, seven years she's been married. She's married to a wonderful man. And we're going to bring him on also. We're going to bring in our brother Reeves, Bob. And we're going to bring him in. But right now, uh, what I want to talk to you about as far as relationships, because, you know, those are the topics that I put out there. We are going to talk about blended families. Because what I have observed with Thais is that I have seen her and her husband put together their family. It is a blended family, and it is a lovely family. And sometimes I know people have hardships when they are bringing families together, when children are involved. And sometimes the, the, the discourse between the children is what causes the relationship, the marriage uh, to break down. So I'm gonna hand it over to our uh, Thais Bob, and she's gonna talk about the success of her blended family. Take Thank it away. you so You're much. Welcome. I You're really welcome. appreciate You're you, welcome. sister. Thank you for the wonderful You're compliment. Welcome. Um, I just have to say that in regards to blended family, the most important thing is love and communication. When you have stepchildren, mm -hmm. um, they want to feel accepted into the family first and foremost. Yes. With my family, I have uh, twins who are away at college, and I also have two stepchildren, but I don't refer to them as stepchildren. Those are my children. Right. Because when you are married, you yes. become one unit. So you should not look at it as his kids versus my kids. Right. They are our children together. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we tend to separate the two. Where you know his kids, his daughter, his son, my yes. son, my daughter. No, it's our children right. together. So from the first time you meet the children, you always want to be warm and um, have them feel accepted. Mm -hmm. It's bad enough that their parents' relationship did yes. not work out. Yes. And they're hurt behind that. Yes. Uh, whether they're married or not, mm -hmm. the fact mm -hmm. that their mom and dad did not work out, there's pain. And sometimes children may take it out on you mm -hmm. and think yeah. that you are the cause. I'm, I'm blessed to, that wasn't my situation, but that does yes, happen yes, in a yes, lot of relationships. Yes, yes. They think that you are the cause yes, of yes. it. So if you show them love and compassion and be patient, yes. that would definitely help the situation. That's a great point. Yes. Um, in regards to um, boys, young men, um, it's very important that if the stepfather, the father, mm -hmm. he has to do things with that young man yes, and yes, make that yes. young man feel accepted. Yes, yes. Okay, that's yes. very, very important. Yes. And when it comes to females, the stepmother has to do the same. Spend quality time. Yes. Find out what the young man or the young lady likes to right, do. And right. you guys can do things together mm -hmm. as a family. One thing I told my children when they met um, Reeves that he was a nice young man. I didn't, mm -hmm. I didn't bring I didn't bring him into my household for a while because you know you have to be very selective. Are you, are you listening to this <laughs> young ladies mm -hmm. with children? Mm -hmm. Are you listening to this? You can bring him in right away. Mm -hmm. You have to take some time mm -hmm. and make sure that. Um, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. Make sure that um, you um, have have some time invested in the person before you just bring them in because children also don't like it when they see man after man or woman yes. after woman. They don't yes. know who to accept. Is this somebody that's going to be temporary yes. or somebody that's going to be full time yes. in my life? With a blended family. Another great point. Yeah. With a blended family, we, we all one unit. So if you have people coming in and out constantly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it doesn't show uh, great security. Yeah, yeah. yeah, security. Children yes. have to feel secure, yes. Yes. you know. And um, with step parents, I am a stepmom. My son, and I don't call them step children, but my son and my daughter, they see at me as a second mom. Mm -hmm. They knew from the beginning, you have your birth mother that yes. loves you. very clear. You're yeah, very not clear. there to take the role of their birth parent. 
if their parent is still alive, you respect that man or that woman. Yes. There also has to be communication between the actual parent and the step parent. Very good point. You have to show thing. respect to them. Yes, you do. You have to show them that you're going to show their children mm -hmm. love. Mm -hmm. It's not a matter of, well, we didn't work out and this is the other woman or this is the other man. We have to yeah, respect so each other. Yeah, yes, it is. Yes, and there's a, a lot of yes. confusion. Yes, yes. And the children don't know how to feel because yes. they might like the mom yes. or the dad, but they don't know how to feel because their mother or father but, don't like them. The, yes. You understand? Yes. And that's so where do they fall? Yes. Should I follow that's my well. mother or my yes. father that doesn't really like this person? Yes. Exactly. Where do my loyalty lie? Exactly. You know, exactly. so if the stepmom and the birth mom have a relationship, it doesn't put the children in an uncomfortable place. Right. If the stepdad and the father, the birth father, have a decent relationship, right. they don't have to choose. Yes. They don't have to choose. And they'll feel blessed yes. to know that they have two male figures yes. and two female figures. I was, I was just getting ready to say that because you made that part earlier. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad that you made the distinction earlier when we were having service, that they will feel more secure that in, in that whole family unit, that like you said, not only do they have their birth mom that they can trust and rely on, Absolutely. that they still have their, what you call the second mom, I yes. love that. Second that mom. stepmother and stepfather yeah. know when you have the second like mom. The yeah, and if everybody can come together, mm -hmm. and for the children, mm -hmm. for the children, mm -hmm. as well so as the relationship. Mm -hmm. But I think, the, would you agree that the importance should also be on the children, that this union needs to be comfortable for them? Absolutely. It needs to be comfortable Absolutely. for them. Because I know a lot of people who just go on. Yes. That's whether true. the children are comfortable or not. That's true. Whether that's they true. like the person or not. Whatever yeah. the discourse is, yeah. they just go on. Yeah. The adults just go on 